Hi everyone, welcome back. It's been a little while since I've actually made some Korean dishes, so today I'm going back to my Korean roots and I'm going to do a part two of pentan or side dishes. A few months ago, I made five simple pentan you can make with readily available ingredients. Today is a follow-up to that. They are also very easy to make. If you're ready, let me get started and show you how to make each one. Okay, so the first one we're going to make is called ojingo chie muchim, or seasoned dried cuttlefish. It's the simplest panchan ever. So I have a package of dried um, cuttlefish I've set aside in a bowl, and I need to make the sauce. So first thing is soy sauce, sesame oil, honey. Some people use corn syrup for this um, or sugar, but I like it with honey. This is also what my mom did, so. Here's Korean chili paste. You can add a little bit less if you don't want it as spicy. It's completely up to you. To this, we have scallions, minced garlic. I'm using a little whisk here to blend it all in. Okay, I've got my handy gloves on because I don't want my hands to get all messy. All right, so here's my cuttlefish and my sauce. Pour it all in here. This is why I'm using my gloves, because I don't want to get it on my hands. The cuttlefish is one of those items that you can find only at Asian markets. Unfortunately, the regular markets don't have them. If you can't find it at the store, you can definitely order it on Amazon. You can order it online. Okay, so here it is, guys. That's it. Look how simple that was. It's perfect. It's a little spicy, a little sweet. A lot of umami flavor. It is not fishy at all. Oh, let me sprinkle some sesame seeds in here. Okay. Pantan one is done. On to pantan number two. This is kongnamul muchim or seasoned soybean sprouts. Another really simple, easy to make pantan. Let's get going. Okay, so I'm rinsing the soybeans to make sure it's nice and clean. This is actually pretty clean, but you also see some of these have these little strands at the end. You wanna to try to cut those off. Okay, this is my second rinse and it's much cleaner already. So I'm, this is probably gonna be my, my last round. Okay, so I rinsed my uh, soybean sprouts. Now I'm going to blanch it in boiling water. This one you wanna cook through, so it's gonna take about five minutes. Okay, it's been cooking now for about eight minutes. At five minute mark, I took a little bite of it. It was still a little bit crispy, and so I gave it a few more minutes. Now it's done, and I'm going to go and drain this. Okay, so I drained it. It's in my mixing bowl. I could have waited a little bit longer till it was a little bit cooler if I was gonna mix it with my hands, but I'm gonna use my tongs today. So I'm gonna go ahead and season it. The seasoning are soy sauce, sesame oil, we have a little bit of salt. This is gochugaru or the Korean chili powder flakes. This is going to be a little bit spicy, which I love. We've got garlic, scallions, and then sesame seeds. Now I'm going to just mix it all in. Mm -hmm. This one's done. Okay, pantan number three is stir-fried fish cake. It comes like this. What I'm going to do is slice them and also slice some um, vegetables, and we're gonna stir-fry this. Okay, so this package has four fish cakes in here, okay, and I'm going to cut them all. Now, if you do buy them, you can buy them and you can also freeze them and just take it out and let it thaw. So I'm just gonna cut them into strips like this. Okay, now to this, I really like to add um, onions and peppers. So I have half an onion left. I'm gonna cut them into thin slices. These are Korean peppers. Um, the thing with this is really good, but sometimes they're sweet, sometimes they're a little spicy, you just don't know. So with this, I'm going to slice them into thin slices as well. It really gives this um, dish a little bit of a kick. Now. If you don't like the spice, you don't have to add this at all. There's our peppers. All right, all my ingredients are ready to go. 
the heat is on in the pan, about medium to medium high, adding a little bit of cooking oil to this. The first thing that goes in are my fish cakes. It's been stir frying for about a minute. At this point, I'm gonna add my vegetables. We have our onions and our peppers. And this gets stir fried for another two to three minutes. Okay, it's been stir frying for a little bit and you can smell the fragrance of the onions and the peppers. It smells really good. I'm gonna add my seasonings now. Okay, so the seasonings, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you what they were. There's soy sauce, sesame oil, a little bit of sugar, and sesame seeds. That's it. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll let it steam, so I'll just put the lid on, a, on it for a few minutes. It's been steaming for a little bit. Now, here's a trick for you. As you're steaming it, if you feel like it's getting a little bit too dry, add a little bit of water, maybe a tablespoon of it. Let's give it a quick taste. We're gonna take one. It's so good. The spice hits you towards the end. This is done. Okay, we are on to our fourth panchan, and that is kaji namul or steamed eggplant. It's, sought, it's steamed and then it's seasoned with a lot of um, aromatics. These are Japanese eggplants. It's bright purple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them into about, I don't know, what is this, two inch lengths? And then I'm gonna cut them into thirds like this. You don't want to cut these too small because they'll fall apart. They're going to steam for about three to four minutes until they're tender. Nice and steamed. Now, it's so simple, you guys. All we do is mix the rest of these seasonings. Uh, we have sesame oil, soy sauce. We have a little bit of sugar, garlic, scallions, and um, the sesame seed. Now, it just gets tossed in here, just like that. I do have on the side a little bit of my Kochugaru, which is a chili powder, I that's optional. You can put it in if you want to or not. Now, because a lot of the side dishes that I made today are all on the spicy side, I think for this one, I'm going to leave it out. That's it. That is it. How simple is that? On to our last panchan. This is pan-fried zucchini. Really simple again. I'm gonna slice them into rounds. They will then get dredged in salted flour, dipped in egg wash, or beaten egg, and then pan fried. Can't get any easier than that, right? Okay, so this is what we do. We're going to first um, dredge the zucchini in flour. The flour has been salted. If you want to, you can also salt the egg, um, the beaten egg as well. So I'm gonna do a bunch of these. Make sure you coat both sides of the zucchini nicely with, with egg wash or egg. And then put them in a single layer. Okay, so I'm gonna flip them over now. That's the type of color you want. Whoops. Just like that. All right, let me show you the first one. It's cooked on both sides. See, it's nice and pretty brown color on both sides. Okay, that one is ready. Repeat this process until all my zucchinis have been cooked. Okay, so a little snafu. We forgot to record the ending of our video because I wanted to show you the sundubu jjigae that I had made to go with my panchan. Hopefully Pat has enough video to show you the picture of it. Anyway, the link for the sundubu jjigae will be up here in the link and the link as well for the previous panchan side dishes that I made a few months ago. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, and the silly mistakes we make as amateurs. <laughs> I hope it makes you laugh like we do. Um, don't forget to share, leave comments, press that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.